Alrighty, let's watch this here. I'm a little sound a tiny bit, tiny bit higher. It's a lot of work. Watch out. There's something weird about those eyes right there. A, they're also a bit high. Generally, I would kind of look at maybe you can have a bit more focus on, like, you know, at this point, looking off, looking off. He doesn't really feel super engaged. He's a bit spaced out. So maybe that could be something to kind of adjust the darts to really follow that a bit more. Feels nice, though. Yeah, that's the only thing. I don't like it. It's, it's, it's super complex. It's a lot of work getting these guys in there. You get a nice little offset. Maybe it feels a bit cycly. Or maybe, maybe offsetting legs a bit more. I don't know. I think that's super picky. My main thing is probably this. When I was watching this. And then as your eyes go over, they just feel... Uh, where is it here? There's another one. Hold on, hold on. That. It's just tricky when you have eyes go up over so many frames and then just go straight down without a hold and focus. I will keep that a bit sharper over one or two frames and just kind of dart. Hi there. Hi there. Careful here, you'll pop in the corners. Hi there. In there. Hi there. Uh, how those corners go in and out. They pop a bit. See that? Go out. Bam! And then in. Watch out if you can bring in any <clears throat> arcs in the corners. would always help. Also then asymmetry. You can draw a line here. This face is fairly mirrored. Kind of get some asymmetry in there. And then don't forget when you have high there like this is a massive move with the jaw that might hold on i should probably just change the colors too it's not exactly the best here uh you would have like a little bit of a rotation in the head just to get so that this doesn't feel like a separate element so whenever you have jaw movement it does impact the head for some accents Hi there. Yeah. Congratulations. that's cute whoa Stops maybe a bit fast. I think I would try around here-ish to start having him lean back so that when this happens, because he's also almost, almost leaning forward a bit, and then comes like, whoa, this comes like a nice stop without any... Like, imagine he's coming to a stop with the body more like this, and then he stops, and then he gets to this position maybe a bit more, and then goes back a bit. Just a bit more looseness in this. And then watch arms. It goes up. There's a bit of a, a pause there, right? The arm goes up, stop, and then up again. Just watch out again. Just a general smoothness. So it's not so stop and go. This is a bit straight. I know this is extremely complicated. I can't even imagine doing all this. But if you could have a bit of a path so that you can see a bit more of the wheel here, a bit more wheel here, going back. Just for complexity, so it's not so super one axis. And then I will probably show that arm higher. So that we see the arm go back, which then leads into that turn. So it's not just like an isolated turn and then this arm comes up later. I mean, I get that you're doing that. He's kind of out of control and the arm drags. But then I feel like it's just this turn here without... I think we can just bring that arm more into play to really show more like, whoa, trying to balance and going back and forth. I like the looseness in the head, though. Ready? That is nice. Here, too. Here. But then you have a woo, and that needs a bit of a up in the head. Maybe the shell moves a bit. And then you can have almost like a move up. And then as he goes forward, then the head goes back down again to almost kind of lean into this. And then on that, it can go back up into that straight for a laugh. Oh, that's nice. Just maybe a bit slow. Hold on. Right at the end. I'll probably take a couple of frames out around here-ish. Maybe one or two. Maybe this frame. It just feels just getting there. And then it's almost a bit even in the drop. And that too. That could be... Boom. I think we're resting a bit long. In here. And then I will go up a bit faster, maybe even a bit higher, and then plop back down. I'm going to play this at 25% faster. Let's see. So you can order rest just when it drops. And let's see. Four. 
that drop at 25% faster feels better. Foom. But then even that drop back, this one feels slow. So 50% faster on the on the other drop. Yeah, it's hard to kind of understand that there, but that's what I would do there. 25% or yeah, 25% faster and 50% faster here. Same thing here when he laughs, I would have a bit of more chuckle. I get, I get more rotations in the head. It just feels a bit stiff. And I know it's kind of tricky with the shell, but... So you almost imagine like, ha 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 ha, he goes back. And he almost leans the head back. You can see more of the nostrils. And then he comes back up for congratulations. So it has a bit more impact of congratulations. And imagine a bit more left and right. Congratulations. A little left and right. Head accents. I think that, oh, that, that, a little bit louder. Like that is such an exertion in the voice that I would have that a bit more, like me almost like the head back a bit more with a slight rotation over, just so it feels stronger. He just feels very soft compared to the voice. Watch out, you have some overextension pops in those arms. Or that one arm. This feels a bit even in timing. I will go a bit more slow and fast. Like, Same thing here, this feels really even in timing. Going back down. Same thing here, just a little bit more like strain. That feels nice, a little bit of a hard stop at the end. Right there. It just feels like, you know, concrete and like a bowling ball. Bong! Congratulations. But that's kind of that. These are super cute, by the way. I really like those. All right, that's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.